don't see that every day at training camp, right? You, you glad you, you, you got involved with that? Was there you know, a, certain, a certain feeling of, uh, of power being the judge of the pie, sports pie contest? Yeah, it's a lot of fun when we get to do things like that. Uh, ben and Skin came to us and asked me if I wanted to you know, have Zach on with me and, and do this pie competition. And obviously, we kind of had it rigged so that you know, we'd be able to get KT most of the time, but we'd surprise Zach with one. Uh, I'm really surprised that he was able to avoid it. It seems like uh, Zach is a guy who's you know catching on pretty fast, yeah. as fast as you can. You 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 were in that position not long ago. What does it take to assimilate yourself to this next level? You know, I think it really is just a matter of taking in everything that you can. I guess that's kind of what works for me. Um, it's not necessarily what you can go and study, and there's just too much for you to be able to try and take it on by yourself. Uh, what really helped me to pick things up as quickly as I did was to have the other offensive linemen behind me and, and kind of take me under their wing and teach me the things that I really needed to know right now. And then from there, I could focus on the little things going forward. Uh, Tyron Smith, you talked to me about him and, and the kind of player he is, the kind of guy he is. Tyron's a special kind of person. Uh, not only is he terribly athletic and uh, super strong, uh, but he works as hard as anybody that I've ever seen. He easily could go out and just show up, show up to practice and, and do really well. Uh, but he puts in the time in the film room and in the weight room and uh, just to make himself better at his craft. He wants to be the best and I, I certainly think that he's getting there. He's just a really good person, a really good guy to be around and uh, I'm really appreciative of that. The talk here is that the offensive line might be the strongest unit on this team. Uh, you buying that? You know, I don't know. I think that we certainly have enough uh, potential and we have the guys to do it, um, but but that's not something that you just get assigned and all of a sudden you're the best unit. You, know, uh, you know we need to continue to come in here and work as hard as we can and uh, continue to come together as a group. And we have a great coach, set of coaches, a uh, great group of guys. So if we continue to work, we, we certainly have a, a lot of room that we can grow into that. What's there with Linehan now, from what you've been able to tell, that maybe wasn't there before? You know, I'm not really sure. I, I guess the best thing that I can say is when any coach comes in, any new coach or new player or any of that stuff, you kind of get sort of a renewed sense of urgency or uh, excitement, I guess. Uh, he just brings a new piece of flair to the offense, and uh, there's some little things here and there that he's changed, but for the most part, a lot of it is very similar for us. Uh, so we just want to continue to fit into his system and see how he fits into what we've been doing and uh, continue to grow. Would you like to run the ball more? I mean, as any offensive line would say, you know, you want to be able to run the ball more. Um, but I think it really comes down to, as any good offensive player, offensive coordinator knows, taking what the defense gives you and uh, trying to do that aggressively and, and go after them as much as you can. But there's certain looks you just certainly cannot run into. And, and that's true whether you're the best offensive line in the country or the worst offensive line in the country. So uh, you really have to be able to, to be variable, be able to pass protect as well as you do run block. Uh, so that you can put yourself in the best situation. Talk to me about the big uh, happening in your off season. Uh, became a married man, right? That's right. I did. I got married in March. Uh, my lovely wife couldn't make it out here to, to camp, it. but uh, I certainly miss having her around. But it's nice to be out here. We can totally immerse yourself and be with the team and uh, really grow as a group. And uh, I think that we're becoming a lot closer because of that. How old were you when you met her, if I may ask? Um, I probably was in, I was in kindergarten. She's a year older than I am, and uh, so uh, we grew up all together. I went to grade school and high school together, so it's, uh, it's been a long time. So you went after an older woman back in the day. You went after a first grader. Back in the day, you know, that's a pretty big percentage when you're only four years old, four to five. I mean, that's uh, really stepping up in the world. Oh, that's, that's, that's fantastic. So she uh, going to be able to adjust to being a Texas girl? Been I down think so. A while, She's been down here for a while, and... Uh, we both really love it. Dallas is a great city, and uh, you can really have anything that you want when you're in Dallas. There's all sorts of opportunities and uh, things to do. We come from a smaller town, so it's it's different being in in the city. Uh, but Dallas feels pretty small. It feels like a you could just get around and, and really do whatever you need to do. Finally, back to the pie throwing thing. When it came time for the for the money shot, yes. your boy actually eluded it. He now did. That, well, how did that judge that as a, as a shotgun snap? Uh, uh, you know. It, I would say that's pretty impressive that he was able to elude that. I mean, maybe that's what makes him so good at what he does is he can react that quickly. Uh, he said that he saw my wrist turn right at the last second, and that's what you know prompted him to duck. So if he can do that in, the, in, in pass pro and in the run game, I think that's going to be really good for us.